Ted? Ted? Ted, where are you? Schlad, I think I may have made a grand mistake. Schlad, I'm over here. Ted, is that you? Yeah, what the hell? Hey, hey, man, how's it going? Great. Where the hell are you? Where are you? Schlad, I'm about 30 minutes out of sight of uh, Dublin, Ireland. I'm we got to... Ted, we got to record the podcast. What are you doing in Dublin? I don't Listen, man. Somebody was like, hey, you, you just go up and went. You just up and went. Oh, I'm Ted Nivison. I can go to Ireland I where we got to record the, the goddamn Chuckle Sandwich podcast. I thought maybe we had more time in between the last podcast and this podcast. I mean, they, we keep having those three week periods where we don't post podcasts. I just, uh, I just thought. But it's never going to change if we keep doing this. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I, you know, and to be honest, Lad, I got no idea how I ended up here. I, uh, I woke up in a field, there was a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, there was the guy who walked up. He said, top of the morning to you. I looked up, and it was uh, a bare-ass naked Jacksepticeye. Wow. Mm -hmm. I he, heard he did traverse those lands nakedly. Oh, oh he did naked. He's yeah. famous for, wow. you know, and that's something, as I'm walking around this place, it's like, that's part of the greeting. It's like, oh, top of the morning to you, laddies. Jacksepticeye walked around when he was growing up naked <laughs> in the right. fields. Of Ireland. And, you know, I, I woke up and I was like, Jacksepticeye, is that you? And I thought I was seeing a vision, an angel. And he handed me a Guinness. He handed me a Guinness and he said, come with me. <laughs> I've been in Ireland wow. for a week and I don't know how to get home, Slat. I Jesus. don't know how to get home. Well, you know what? I can't help you. I have no idea. I don't, I don't know Ireland. I've never been there. Yeah. 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 But I will say... If I got to see Jack Naked's Jack Jack Naked <laughs> If I got to see Jack Naked's eye, if I got to see Jack Naked eyes, uh septic balls and, and dick, then honestly, I would be there too. Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. I'm in fucking Ireland, baby. <laughs>
So, so the real reason, Schlatt, is because uh, in 2021, I told my mom, I was doing better on YouTube, I told my mom, hey, if there's any place that you want to go in the world, uh, I'll pay for it. I'll pay for the flight, the hotels, you know, whatever, the rental car and right. whatnot. And it came, it came back up in like January and she was like, oh, let's, let's freaking do Ireland. You've never been to Ireland. I've been like a couple of times already. Um, so I was like, sweet. I've never been to Ireland. So we, we just kind of sent it. We just kind of sent it. And wow. then I'm, and I'm here when I've been here, like, I don't know, like five or six days now or something like that. And it's been Damn. a freaking blast, dude. It's been a blast. And we decided that it would be a good idea to try to film an episode of the podcast while I'm here. In a bar. In a I, Ted, I think this was, I, I'll say it now, I think this was a excuse for you to drink while on the podcast and not about? seem like out of place. Yeah. But, you know, do, I drink, I'm drunk right now. Like, it, I would have been at totally fine if you sounds... wanted to do this from home. <laughs> You're drunk at 11 a.m.? What do you, what do you? Well, I was drunk last night. I didn't want to be hung over. Right. So okay. I ju you just keep going. Rumor has it that's the best way to, that's the healthiest way to. Yeah. To, that's the you just maintain it. it. You um, maintain it. You never get. You never. You never get a hangover. It's. It's the perfect cheat code. Yeah. Yeah. Some would call it a cheat code. Others would call it a, the beginning of a larger problem. It's. It's. <laughs> it's usually how they would put it. I'll tell you one. That thing, problem's Vlad. been brewing for years. I'll tell you. What? Yeah. I'll tell you one thing, is that the people have been asking for this, and by the people I mean, it was like an idea I put in our ideas chat for episodes. We gotta do. Next time we're in person together, we got to do our, our our chuckle sandwich drunk episode. Oh, what do you okay. think of that? Okay, I feel like now that yeah. I've, I've been I'm doing a podcast from here in Ireland in a freaking pub, we got to do the drunk yeah. episode at some point. But a little it makes bit, sense. A little bit of information about this pub that I'm in right now because um, mm. originally the idea was that I was going to film this podcast from a like a random field. I went out to I'm outside of Dublin right now. I went to St. Catherine's like. St. Catherine's Park, apparently there's like cows there, like Highland cows, the like furry ones. Um, it just started Ew. raining. So my mom and I were like, let's go to this pub. This is uh, Johnny Fox's is the name of the pub. It is like one of the oldest pubs in Ireland that got like a, has like, like one of the first to get a license. It was like made in like 1790. This is a pub that's been around Woo! since 1790. Um, Holy shit. And there's an entire, and Scott, you can throw this up on the screen because I took a photo of it, so I'll send it. Um, there is an entire list of like other celebrities that have been to this bar, including like Muhammad Ali, the impractical jokers have been here, but what? I, I think no the way. most, and if you look at the photo that I sent you, Shlatt, one of the most in the upper left-hand corner, the most significant that I think you will enjoy is the president of the communist party of China, Xi Jinping. Has been to no this way. fucking pub. She has been here. She has been been here. Maybe Holy even sitting fuck. where I'm sitting right now, enjoying a fine Guinness. Wow, doesn't hey, that man. make doesn't that make you, you feel a little special? It does. It does. And it's crazy to me that you know, like this is not something that will ever happen in America. You go to Europe and especially the UK. I feel like that whole area, that whole island, yeah, archipelago. Everything there is so old. Like it feels like it feels like centuries of life have been in every single building. I agree. Meanwhile, if you have a house here that was built before <laughs> before like 1980, yeah, before, everyone's like, dude, you need to cars you need were to invented, fix that. Then it's like, holy shit. <laughs> what the hell? This thing's got to be falling apart. I yeah, driving through Ireland, it's like some of these buildings I'm seeing are like it's almost like they keep the like if a building falls out of like repair falls into disrepair they just keep it there because it's it's become like so historically significant that they just it's <laughs> almost rude to get it's like morally wrong to get rid of it <laughs> like so it's like a minecraft world with all your buddies and exactly. then th this guy he just he just doesn't play anymore so we just leave his house <laughs> yeah it's it gets like, blown it, up by like creepers and shit it's, it's one still of the standing. members of the group you had a falling out with and like yeah and like he, he's got like a new group and like yeah no i agree I just realized you're outside. I am outside. Well, just, there's so just a big old tarp over it. Well, well, let me say actually what I was going to say first. 
Uh, Tucker is not here today because the schedule of Ireland's time zone does not work with Tucker's college schedule. We apologize, but we're hoping that the novelty of the fact that I'm in a random pub in Ireland is enough to make you guys <laughs> forgive us this time that Tucker is not here. Um, but there will be. How, how weird does the location have to be for it to be forgiven that Tucker is unable to make it? <laughs> yeah, people are going to be riding in the streets uh, in the comment section because <laughs> of the fact that Tucker is not here. Um, but I forget what I forgot. I forget what I was saying, man. I, I you know, this is my like one right now. I mean, come the on. The beer, the beer's doing doing work on you. How much have you been drinking? This is my this. I'll admit this is my second Guinness. I just had a Guinness and beef pie. I don't know what that means. It's like uh, you ever had a shepherd's pie? No. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, it's basically like you know what a pie is. Yeah. I know, no, I know what a pie is. Uh, yeah, no, I was just making sure you paused for way longer than I expected you to when I you just don't eat pie much. I don't I don't know what I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, is there a disconnect? Like I feel like it's taken my words a lot longer to get to you because maybe. that was a perfectly normal pause to to respond it could be to the, pie it, with. It could be the fact that I'm all the way in Ireland on on using oh, phone right. on, on, I'm not even on like a Wi-Fi or anything. I'm on like phone data communicating with you right now. Um, <laughs> on, I, yeah. Okay. So what was I fucking saying? The <sighs> It's getting to you. You were saying how much you were drinking and you're talking about pie. I don't yeah, know. I had a, I had a beef and Guinness pie. It's like when you, you take, what do you take? You take basically a piece beef. of steak, beef. Yeah. <laughs> beef. And then yeah. you put it in a pie crust, and then you put a bunch of gravy in there and some carrots, and that's it. What about the Guinness? Maybe they like put a little bit in there or something for like flavor, <laughs> kind of like how they do with wine and cooking. I'm not sure. The I don't fuck know. is it just cook out? Or maybe it's a, maybe it's just oh, like a man. heavy implication that you have to be drinking Guinness with it or something. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, probably. Here's the thing too. I'm not normally a huge beer guy, but since I've been out here, no. every meal. Or every excuse, really. I have been drinking the Guinness. It does feel, it's like an occasion, you know? Like, yeah. it wouldn't feel right drinking fucking Fireball in Ireland. Yeah. You, you'd have to go with the Guinness. You do. And oh, even yeah. though the, the liquor is way more effective at doing its job, and that's the only reason I drink alcohol, is to get completely fucked up. I was told that when I got here, it was like, oh, you got to have the Guinness because it's like unlike any Guinness that you're going to. And, and the thing is, too, I'm not going to have Guinness when I go back to the U.S., which is weird. Yeah. But apparently the Guinness here is like, it doesn't, it's not really offensive in any way. It kind of is like a very low key flavor. But yeah, uh -huh. it's it's good. I've been enjoying it. It's a l low alcohol content, like 4.8%. Not that bad. Oh, what's the fucking point of that? Because you feel... Like the Irish vibes are so strong that you the it, Irish vibes. There's of huge, the Guinness. dude. I don't know about. I I can't explain it, but being here in Ireland, the Irish vibes are off the charts, man. You, like you're I go practically over, drinking water, Ted. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> water will will with some foam and bubbles in it. How about that? Yeah. It takes a while too. There's like a whole strategy to it. Like they, 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 they serve it to you. And then like my, my mom is, she's apparently like a Guinness expert or something. Cause they served to it. And, she, and I was like about to drink. And she was like, wait, hold on. And it's like, I had to watch it for a bit to see, like it turned from like this foamy thing to like, just pitch black, like the deepest lake oh, you've ever God. seen. And you know, you could put anything in here. And so I would not know that it was like, you could poison Guinness is probably the number one poisonable drink. Uh -huh. I've ever seen because uh -huh. it's the, it, like how do you change the color of something from black you know it's just straight up I, a black drink chuckle listeners you heard it here first Guinness easily poisonable yeah um you put whatever you want I yeah you know what mm. I have been driving here Schlatt okay I have been driving in Ireland and I don't know if you know this but they don't drive right here right they drive left they drive opposite yeah. of we do and we got, we showed up here and we got to the, like the rental car place. And this guy's got a thick Irish accent and he's like talking to us and he was like, Oh, what do you want? Oh, maybe do you want the, 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 this BMW situation? Cause my mom just wanted to get a hatchback. And then this guy brings up a BMW, you know, 
Mm. And you know, you're a big car guy. You've been talking about the Eco Boost. You've been talking about the number oh, the oh, yeah. number fifteen oh, yeah. triple spoiler situation. And so I heard BMW, and I was like, "Well, I suppose there wouldn't be much of an issue. Let's do it. Let's roll it." And so, perfect opportunity <laughs> to to tailgate everybody and and, <laughs> and not use your turn signal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I've been. I've, I've had to learn how to drive on the left side of the road in Ireland, and it has been a fucking, a, like, a really interesting experience because you just don't realize when you try to drive on the left side of the road how quickly you'll actually get used to driving on the left side of the road. Really? Yeah. I sort of was in my head being like, I'm going to have to be doing math every second that I'm in this car <laughs> as I'm driving. <laughs> and then I got on the roads... And I realized that because they straight up take the steering wheel and put it on the other side of the car, it just becomes like natural that you're just, you're just turning normally. Yeah. Um, Damn. But I have to say the roads in Ireland are so fucking thin that like you're playing a game of chicken anytime someone's going the opposite direction of a two lane road. Cause the two lane, they, cause they haven't updated their roads since they were doing like horse drawn carriages or running. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> they used roads to run. That was like how they commuted is right. like everyone just yeah. lined up and there was traffic and traffic lights and everything. Um, it's they're like, I'm talking maybe the width of this frame that I'm existing in, in this camera is like how wide most of the roads in Ireland are. It's stupid. I'm assuming they're very small cars then. Yeah, You're not seeing any Ford F one fifties, no no Eco Boosts, no Dodge Hellcats. What's weird is that I am seeing trucks though. I've been counting how many. I've seen seven total, and I've driven driven across most of Ireland. Um, okay, but they're not like you're not seeing a Ford or like a Ram. Yeah, you're seeing like Mitsubishi trucks, like pickup trucks, and I'm seeing like yeah, like Mercedes pickup trucks, and I'm like. Where where are these in America? Are they do these? I'm like second guessing myself. Do these exist in America? Or have you ever seen a Mitsubishi? probably not? Yeah, that's no. what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, they don't they don't do that. We we keep it we keep it American when it comes to our trucks. I don't even think we let them bring the bring those over overseas. I'm about to start a bar. We, we do the F one fifty and we do the Dodge Ram and that's that's it. That's the only two choices. And we yeah, and maybe we a silver and auto. we get a a guy with a low voice to do all our commercials, so we feel like we're oh, yeah. we're American when we're watching them. We're out of we're out of truck months. Like what is Mitsubishi going to have a truck month? We've got all yeah. of them already. The, all the slots are filled. I'm sorry. What do you want? Sorry, I'm sorry, Europe. We've got. But we've you're got gonna plenty. buy a fucking. You're gonna you're gonna live in America and buy a Mitsubishi truck? Fucking idiot. Fuck, My bunch God. of fucking assholes. Can you guys stop fighting? <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> you're being. Hey. Oh my God. Okay. They're not even drinking Anyways. Guinness. What are they doing? They're not even fucking. They're not even Guinness. drinking Guinness. They're not. They're not. So Ted. Sure. You been in any bar fights? No, but I've been trying to start them. It's the problem is mm -hmm. whenever I try to start a bar fight, it's like they don't get like you have to be excessively angry with people about like like you can't be angry about the right thing, you know? Like if yeah. you're angry about something reasonable, then it's like, oh, they'll hash it out. You have to be angry about like, oh, you looked at me weird, or like you look like you look like someone my grandpappy told me about he fought in the war something right. drunk yeah. something that doesn't make a lick of sense and i mm. don't really understand that language yet people are strangely nice here like for instance i got, got the manager over here and i was like hey i don't even know if i needed to show the sub counter chuckle sandwich or anything like that like i was like Hey, I run this podcast called Chuckle Sandwich. We're, I'm out here in Ireland, and I would, thought it would be funny to do a a podcast in this bar. And it, and the the waiter who came up, he was like, uh, he was like, oh, my mom's walking up right now. Hey, mom, should I, should we should we should we have a mom reveal on Chuckle Sandwich right now? Sure, why not? You won't be able to hear him, but come here. This is this is my mom, Chucklers. This is my mom. Say hello, mom. Hi. What have you enjoyed the most of this Ireland trip, mother? Uh, 
um, the Karikareed Bridge. Oh, yeah. that br- You see that bridge on Twitter I posted, Schlatt? Scott, put that on yeah. the screen. She she yeah. actually she did a really good job. She did not want to go over this giant rope bridge that we went on. Um, it's like in Northern Ireland, in the UK part of it, and we were. She was, I'm afraid of heights. especially on the water. Yeah. So so she she uh, went above and beyond and actually went over the bridge, and I was proud of her. But yeah, no, we've been road tripping together. It's been a cool cool time. All right. Say say bye. Bye. Slancha. Okay. <laughs> um, what was I saying before, though? Before my that rope bridge before, did look interesting, man. Fucking bastard. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I didn't say. I didn't think. I didn't think Ireland had it in it to have something that beautiful in the country. So the story behind that is that, like, on that island, there's a spot where a bunch of salmon go to, like, I don't know, fuck, like mm. maybe like that's where they go to breed. So what the right. fishermen would have to do is they'd have to bring up in the summer, they'd have to bring up that rope bridge and then they would cross that really precarious rope bridge in order to, and there was like, a, there's like a hut over there and shit. It smelled like, oh my God, the bird poop there was insane though. It was like, there was, it was disgusting. Yeah. It was disgusting. Um, what was I originally saying though? Before uh, I, 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 this, I hate birds just as much though. You know that uh, they, you know that they're causing the egg prices to skyrocket. Birds, birds? yeah, the avian flu. What they do is they'll, you know, you know, you know, like chicken factories. Oh, I know chicken factories. Yeah, millions of chickens in those those little buildings. Making me they line them all up. They have nuggets, them. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, they turn them into juice. <laughs> they'll lay eggs sometimes. Sometimes they're turning them if into a bird juice. Will, yeah, well, sometimes a bird shits, and the shit gets blown by the wind into the factory, right. and then that shit has avian flu on it. Oh, okay. And if one chicken gets avian flu, they have to kill all of them. What? So, it, yeah. Did you not know this? They have to kill. It's it's this FDA Whoa. standards. One chicken gets See, avian flu. This would be a they great detect it. See, this would be a great point to get Tucker here because he could give us a number on the total amount of ch- like how off, like what number of chicken are getting killed here. I, I I listened to a podcast. I listened to a podcast on this the other day, and I was like, "What? They have to kill all the chickens?" Listen to this. Since early 2022, more than 49 million birds in 46 states have either died as a result of bird flu virus or have been killed due to exposure to infected birds. 49 million. They heat it. They heat the thing up to astronomical levels and it kills all the chicken and it kills all the bacterium. Schlatt, you still there? Did you, did you lose connection? Or are you just holding that pose extremely well? Ted, you're, you're, you're stuck with a, with your mouth agape. Your mouth is a, can you stop it? Ted, your mouth is agape? Okay, you've definitely lost connection because the 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 skill at which it would require to hold this pose for as long as you're holding it right now it, it would just be astronomical. It would be an insane amount of skill and composure and core strength. Well, Chucklers, it is my duty now that Ted has departed us. Rest in peace. Everybody say rest in peace, Ted. Gone too soon. I mean, he was. He was. Uh it is my duty to continue the podcast, and I will, just by myself. So I've got two cats over there. Hey, don't be fucking jambo. Come on. All right, I'm back. Yeah. Oh, hey, man. I think I may have run out of data to some extent or something like that. Yeah, it was a funny It was a funny scenario in which you dropped. Well, wait, he, wait, so how many chickens How many chickens are dying? I, 49 I million. 49 million chickens they, they've killed uh, in... It, it, oh, this is oh, this is this year, Ted. That's this oh, year. Forty nine million. Not a total ever. Yeah, that's so cool. That's so cool for the chickens. I'm so happy. Can you imagine? Can you imagine like if one person in Los Angeles got COVID, and then they killed everybody in Los Angeles? God, what a what a blessing that would be. Ted, did you lag out again, or uh, 
or are you just holding? No, it I actually just fro- oh. I paused. Oh, <laughs> I actually just paused for a second there. Um, so I don't know what's. I mean, you know, I'm I'm here in Ireland. I mean, what, what, what's new with you, man? What, what's going What's going on? Oh, the cats. What, the, what, the, what the cats, cats just. Fi- they just. They, I don't know if they're play fighting or actually fighting. What does that look like? Are they getting along? Oh, they get along. They get along you, just fine. After have, this, they'll get on the same bed and sleep together. But I don't. Have you named the new cat yet? Oh, he's got a name. He's got a name. No one's known. No one's known it yet. There's no name reveal yet. You gotta yeah. wait. You gotta wait for the video. It's gonna get 10 million views. Jeez. Oh. Jesus. Hey. Should I get the sprayer hey. out? Should I get the little sprayer? Out? You know what? Let me separate them. I'm gonna. I'm gonna separate them. Okay. Do it. Go. Get. Get going. Ah. You'll notice also, Ted. You probably noticed that I. I limped to the door. Yeah. What's going on with that? Yeah. I. Uh, I smashed my foot, my broken toe, against a painting that wasn't hung up in the dark bathroom <laughs> last night. And I might have rebroken no. it. Yeah, no, I might have rebroken it. Have you? Do you have you? Have you? You haven't gone to the hospital for that, have you? No, no. For a little broken toe? <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. I Dude, that's do some. That. That's some fucking. That's some fucking World War II generation shit. Where you're like, ah, it's ah, like ah, more of a pain than I need to ah, deal with. Just give me a little ice, and I'll be good. Give me a little Guinness. <laughs> give me a pint. This will all blow over or something, whatever that whatever exactly. that movie quote is. Ted, you have a list here, and uh, one of them is sparkling water debacle. Tell me about that. Oh, I'll freaking tell you about that, Schlatt. Okay. Let me tell you about the sparkling water here, Schlatt, okay? Because uh-huh. this is something that my mom and I were running into that we have no idea what the fuck was going on, okay? okay. So we right. we went into Gal- Galway. This is a town in Ireland. This We happened to be there for St. Paddy's Day. Um, I spent most of the time in Galway, actually in the hotel room, finishing incorrect history of burgers, uh-huh. which by the way, new merch available at incorrecthistory.com, baby. Check it out. Hell yeah. It's good stuff. I'm actually wearing some of it right now. I didn't forgot to mention it. There is some pretty um, beautiful stuff on that shop. I'd recommend it. Ted, what is it? You. What's the site? I What's the link for all the audio listeners out it's, there? It's, it's ted.store or incorrecthistory.com. If you, they'll both, they'll both go to the same place. So you guys got to see that golden um, cow tied it. That's what I'm saying. It's a mm-hmm. beautiful shirt. Yeah. You were actually, when I showed that to you, when it was, when it was in the works, you were like a big fan of that. Dude, I, I should, fucking I, love I, it. At some point, I want to make that into a crew neck at some point too. You had a good you idea of making that into a crew you totally neck. totally should. That would look really Can good. Can I be sent one or do mm-hmm. I have to fucking buy one? I, I'll send you. I I'll hate buying one. things. I I'll love s- I love I know, messaging I brands. I, I love messaging. I just I just flex. Hey, I got three million followers. Can I get shit for free? What's the What's the brand that you least thought they would do that for you? That you it ended up working out. Um, it's usually it's usually you, like new new tech companies. Like I I message Beacon oh, okay. and like Elgato, and they'll they'll send stuff usually. Even yeah. if I'm sponsored by yeah, someone you... else, which, which is kind of funny, because <laughs> they're trying to they're trying to goose they're yeah, trying to, yeah. they're goosing they get you on their side. You of course, know? they're schmoozing a little. Um, but regarding the sparkling water, we get to Galway. Okay, we're at this hotel. It's called the Dean in Galway. If you okay. ever want to go there, if you're listening, you want. To, it's a good. It was a good hotel. But the weirdest thing about it was we go to we get dinner at this restaurant in the hotel. We're upstairs and. They ask me if I want sparkling or still water. Mm. And I say, oh, oh, uh, I guess I'll have sparkling. You know, I'm feeling a little fancy. I'm feeling yeah. a little fun. And they're like, okay. And they bring it. And then I drink the water. And I take a sip of it. I'm like. Just another excuse to drink more beer. And I, and I say to myself, I'm like, well, that's strange. That tastes like still water. Mm. And I look at it and it says. Sparkling on it. And then I asked the lady and she's like, Oh, that's weird. Let me get you another one. She brings it back. And it's another thing of sparkling water. It's like in a glass thing. They're sparkling, they're still look the same, and I think it's like custom from the hotel. Uh-huh. And they bring it. And I try it again and it's it's fucking still water, I think. Yeah. So I just give up at that point. And we go back later on, we go back to the hotel room and I'm click clack click clack editing away. And I see that they have more 
sparkling and still water available in the hotel for us. And I'm like, ooh, okay, let me check this out. I grab the sparkling water, I pour it, mm. and it's still water. There's no sparkle. There's no... No bubble. There's no carbonation no to zest. it. No zest. So I'm mentioning this issue to my mom. I'm like, I don't... It's not a big deal, but I want to figure out what's going on. So she's like, there's a housekeeper person coming by. And she, she goes on. She's like, hey, I think our sparkling water is like kind of flat or like something. And they're like, and every time that we mentioned this to someone who worked at the hotel, they were like, like, they were like visibly confused. Like this has never happened to them before. Like they were like, oh, oh that's, that's strange. Let me... Let me, let me, let me figure that out for you. Let me, let me, let me fix this sparkling water situation. Um, and so they bring in new sparkling water uh -huh. and then for the, I think fourth time in a row, the sparkling water tastes exactly the same as the fucking still water. <laughs> After and replacing so my it. mom and I, this is the only time that we've tried sparkling water in Ireland. Uh -huh. So we don't know what the fuck is going on. So for the next several days. We like get to Northern Ireland and my mom goes to like a Tesco or something like that. And uh -huh. she comes and she gets like this sparkling water. It says it's sparkling water. And it's like the <laughs> smallest amount of carbonation that we've ever tasted in our entire life. And now we're just confused because like somebody's ripping it through the fucking highway right Mitsubishi now. Mitsubishi truck. Um, who knew? Yeah. And so I just have a message for Ireland right now because I'm, I'm like tired. You know, yeah. I'm tired of this cat and mouse game that I've been playing with your country this whole fucking week where I'm trying to figure out if you guys have even have or own any form of sparkling water whatsoever because I haven't seen a goddamn <sighs> lick of evidence of it yeah. because I don't think that they know the difference. I think it's just in the name for them. Wow. Sparkling Irish it water was really I mean, what, is regular when water. I, when I say it, when I say it now, it kind of sounds like a non-issue. I'm realizing. No, but no. It was like when I wrote that in the when I wrote that in the topics, it was like <laughs> I was fuming over it, man. I, That's fantastic. I no, really no. Want, this is a great. This is a great thing to investigate. Why does why do Irish yeah. people have such small balls that they can't handle a little a little bubbly in their water? You, you ever listen yeah. to Andrew Tate? That's what. That's the most they profound probably, thing that dude's they, ever said. They probably choke on LaCroix. That's all they I'm do. saying. They do. And listen, where I'm from, they wouldn't be able to handle we it. We do a little Topo Chico action. This shit is insane. This shit oh, will get, get you going. Chico, mm. Topo Chico's good. Topo Chico's got big bubbles. Oh. Big time bubbles, man. Fuck. <coughs> God. Hey, you can be okay. I can barely handle it. It's so good. Dude, I'm I'm the I'm the one drinking drinking beers in a bar. You're the one that's like oh, keeling over right nah, now. Nah, dude, I love I love spark. You know what I really like? My favorite sparkling water, Perrier, the green one. Perrier is pretty good. That's the like the one. fancy one. It is the fancy. That's the one. fancy one. Well, you know, I'm I'm worth a lot of money. I this is gonna sound this is gonna be a bit of a controversial point here, um, but I am I'm kind of a Lacroix guy. Oh Jesus! No, what a mistake! What a mistake! I'm sorry. Well, to well, be fair, you are from Los Angeles, and that's probably all they got. Okay, that's probably the uh, yeah, default this... wa water option for you fucks out there. Yeah, because of the film, because of the film industry. Yeah, yeah. No, that's why. I'll tell you this: because of the specific flavor of Lacroix, which is called the key lime flavor. You drink that, it's like key lime pie in a seltzer. It's really no, good. No, no. I bet it I, I no? You, no, I can't do I can't do flavored seltzer, man. I can't do it. I need my shit to have bubbles in it and have absolutely no flavor. Because if it has yeah. a hint of something, I'll just, it's like you're being edged by the bottle of it's, water. It's, it's like they're stroking your it, you're yeah. stroking your hard cock like they just keep stroking okay. it. And it's hard, yeah, and you're about going. you're about to come. You're about to come. I'm gonna uh -huh. come. I'm gonna just come. So close, but it never right happens there. because you're just waiting yeah. for that sip like, that's nope. like actually delicious, right. but it never comes. And I never come. Leads, leads, and no one leaves comes. You throbbing, and no one comes. Leaves a squirming. Yeah. 
And no one comes. And no one comes. No, no one, one comes. comes. No, no one, one comes. comes. That's and frankly, frankly, it's a shame. Yeah, and that's why I drink Topo Chico and all these insane ones that, that really get me going. Don't like getting I can barely yeah. handle it. This is like instant Gosh. orgasm. The it's, second I drink this yeah. shit. What sort of podcast is are we running right now? Is sort of the question mm. that's kind of mulling through my mind. Is you know is. Well, you're in a bar. You're in a bar in Ireland. Yeah, like yeah. it's clear you don't take this very seriously. So why should I? <laughs> That's a rough. Right. You know what a, I yeah. thought. You know what I yeah. thought I'd be doing the second I you go know, to Ireland. Quite I, literally I, drinking on the job. Yeah. You ever, you ever uh, drive? You ever like do a little fun test on the road where you drive in the right lane like a normal person and see how long you can go without uh, it being dangerous? I mean. I suppose, yeah. It's, it's one of those things where it's eventually, no matter what, it's gonna be dangerous, right? Yeah. See how long you can go. It was like, but not dangerous from the beginning. Yeah. Here's the thing. I bet I could do some work for sure here in Ireland if I just started driving on the right side, because yeah. people would start like it probably catch on where it's like, well, actually, that makes a little bit more sense. Yeah. You know, dude, it's like it's you know what it, you know what it's exactly like. It's like when you play Daisy. And you start running into uh -huh. people when you get the game for the first time, a.k.a. you're driving on the wrong side of the road because you're Irish. You start getting the game, you right. meet people, and they, they turn on you and they fucking kill you. Remember that Daisy story about that kid I played with for a week? They killed me after a week of being friends. Absolute sociopathic behavior. Sociopathic behavior. behavior. Like and that, that really taught me, hey, I can't get close to these people. So if I can't beat them, if there's a chance that one of these people is going to turn on me and kill me, I have to become this. You see? Oh, okay. exactly, Ted. Exactly, Ted. So you, enough of those fucking Irish people, they see you driving on the right. They're like, I can't take that risk that someone's going to be on my on oncoming traffic. They'll all so, start moving uh, to the right. So it's kind of funny that you say that because that is sort of a theme in Ireland in the driving situation mm. where because the roads are so thin, yeah. like you, you can, it's, if you see someone else come in the opposite direction, uh -huh. it just becomes a massive game of chicken <laughs> where like, and when we were first driving, it was my, it was my mom was driving because I was like absolutely sleep deprived from this incorrect history video. So I couldn't, it would be unsafe for me to drive. But basically when we were going on these small roads, you could tell which people were locals because they were just going. There was no sort of consideration of how like how close you were on the road and stuff like that. Yeah. And I had a theory that it was the way that it works is that you, if you just send it as much as possible, eventually someone has to submit to the other <laughs> and then like pull over to the side and make room for the other. <laughs> Otherwise, you're getting because it's just like you're threading the needle every time. You feel like your windshield is good or your your rear view is going to get knocked <laughs> off. It's ridiculous. Dude, um, this reminded me of a story in fucking middle school where I was, yeah. I was, I had just gone to middle school, which is like sixth through eighth grade. I was a sixth grader, very small guy at this point, trying to, you know, prove that I wasn't a small fish in a big pond. Yeah. And I would walk through just the little slit. I would walk through the hallway, just looking straight ahead, just like standing up straight and I would not move uh -huh. for anybody. <laughs> and one day, one day, we were go we were changing classes. The bell rang. I was walking to like fucking home ec or something. And this girl uh -huh. is talking with her friends. And I'm just walking straight. And I she has no idea I'm coming. And I I I absolutely fucking bodied this girl so Wait. hard. Oh my that she like That's bounced ridiculous. off of me and slammed into the wall. <laughs> and then like the books are flying. Dude, she definitely dropped something. And I and I was like, oh fuck. Like in the I was I was trying to be like, yeah, yeah, that's right, bitch. But in my head, I was like, oh fuck, it'd be awkward now if I turned around. And so I just I just kept I just kept walking. You should have, you know what you should have done? You should have turned over to her and just done like a cowboy style, like poodle, like a spit. <laughs> just right into, right into her eye. Jesus. That, that would have been good. I would have been, been the bad boy of the, of the middle school. That's for sure. Oh, man. The ladies would have been swooning over you. Damn. They, they would have been swooning. It would have been. It would have been. Um, you do that enough, every woman wants you. 
that's something that everyone, every guy that's like looking to be good with the ladies on chocolate sandwich, this is our advice to you. Just start spitting on people and they will, exactly. it's sort of like a, oh, will they, won't they spit on me? Yeah. Kind of, you know, that's the language of love is what we've learned in our, you know, our 20 something years is start spitting on people. <laughs> You'll, yeah. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You'll be better off for it. You'll be better off. It is getting almost unsustainably dark. In this, I can't in this see you. Right I now. can't see you. I know. It's it's somewhat visible in the camera, but we should probably cut the podcast a little short. Well, hey, um, hold on. We got a whole list of stuff for you to talk about here. You're in Ireland. You're right. You got to talk right. about the Maccas. That's true. I will talk about the rest on the list. So here's the thing. There's something going on. Oh, thanks, mom. My mom's holding up a light now. <laughs> she's holding up she's holding up a flashlight That's to make awesome. this work. Wow. Um, wow. Appreciate that, mom. Thanks. Here's the thing about the McDonald's in Ireland, okay? Uh -huh. Or in the UK in general. There's something going on here where everyone in the UK apparently has there's a big demand for like veggie diets or something. Ew. Because you say that, but we were pleasantly surprised. I mean, to a certain extent, we had just had a night in Galway. I had just finished the incorrect history. I was ready to get fucking wasted on Guinness and have a good time. We're hitting the town. Me and Lisa Niv mm. are, are, are going to fucking burn down the country of Ireland, okay? And we run into these, like, random people that we don't know, and we actually randomly saw later in our road trip in Ireland and we didn't say a fucking word to them, which was kind of weird, but we're getting drunk with these people and like bar hopping with these random folks in Ireland. And, uh, we're both wasted. Uh, my mom is probably more wasted than I've ever seen her in my, in my, in my life. I'm sorry. It's true. It was, it was a surprising moment for me. Like how often do you get to see your parents like get, or, or go get drunk with your parents? Yeah. It's, it, we didn't eat. She says we didn't eat dinner. It's very true. Um, and we ended up at a McDonald's mm. in Galway after. And um, sidebar, by the way, I don't know what it is about the fucking youth of the dudes in Ireland, but I'm seeing so many guys with this weird fucking bull. Like it's half. A, it's like you know Oliver Tree, right? Yeah, yeah. How he's how he's got like a bull cut right here. Mm -hmm. They. Cut that in half. Take a bowl cut, put it halfway through your forehead. That's the main style of haircut that people are going with. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. You're recoiling, and it makes sense because it's, like, weird. I'm walking around, and I asked someone about it, and I was like, what the hell is going on with the haircuts that everyone, and they're like, we don't know. <laughs> it's like, we hope it'll go away. <laughs> but anyways, the this They've got these things called veggie sticks, basically. We have veggie those sticks. here. They're the little chips. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? No. Yeah, the no, little not chips. The chips that, I know what you're talking about. The veggie sticks. Yeah. Those are veggie sticks. But in in these were yeah, these were breaded and fried oh. and available at McDonald's. Oh. Like they were okay. I'm doing a podcast, man. We not um so we go up. To this place, and I order the veggie sticks. I don't know what's going on. I try them. I think that there's going to be a veggie in them. No, it's like curry inside or something. That's the opposite of veggie to vegetables. That's the opposite. That's the opposite of you vegetables. But they honestly, the opposite of I don't know if it was because I was drunk or not. They banged. I'm sure they Big did. Time. If you put, if you fry up curry, that's that sounds delicious. But it does not sound the it least was, bit vegetable. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. don't know if they had any meat in them. I think that was sort of oh. the thing. Oh. But yeah. with McDonald's, I mean, like, how much stuff is even real? You know, how much of it is even real food in the first place? That it's like, you could be pretty much vegan with anything at McDonald's, I think. Dude, I watched the uh, the international food taste tests from Good Mythical Morning all the fucking time. You know uh -huh. that game where they throw shit at the dartboard trying to guess the country of the food they're eating? Yeah. 
my god yeah. there's so many delicacies that i would kill to try and especially the especially ones that are like at fast food joints just around the world that we have here but they just lock it off what? to us no it's not it's not what? for american consumption i'm a pretty big fan of secret menu items i don't know if this has been made well, clear either too. i know what that your, i know what's that your number one What's your number one then? What's your number one thing that you well, are pining to try? Well, dude, it, there's just like this. I, I can't think of any off the top of my head now that you put me on the spot like that. But you wow, just watch almost, some of these. Like, you are completely dark. I can't see you one bit. And she turned the light off. I don't know what she's doing. I think she's taking a video of me now. She's there's, just a proud mom. There are these. There are these delicacies. Usually, it's from yeah. like it's from like Eastern Asia and stuff. They get the cool shit. They do the experimenting with all the food. And uh, it's uh -huh. just like, that looks absolutely delicious. Why is that only at the McDonald's there? You know, or the KFC there? I think KFC it's just because they, they, it's like a focus group thing. I think that yeah. they probably, I bet, I bet they had the veggie sticks in like Chicago at a McDonald's focus yeah. group. And someone was like, what the fuck even is this thing? <laughs> but then some British guy <laughs> was like, oh my, this is the best thing I've ever in my entire life. And they ruined it for all of us. Yeah. They took the veggie sticks away from me. Also. We went to various, um, we went to various, we went to, I went to a Burger King once when we were getting gas somewhere. Yeah. If both Burger King and McDonald's have these things called chili cheese bites. Oh. oh. It's just like mac and cheese and like some jalapeno in a, in a battered, in a battered bowl. Why don't we get that? I know. What American What'd wouldn't want that? I know, right? That's what I'm saying. It, cheddar cheddar yes there's cheddar in them and it's that sounds all I'm fucking asking, delicious it was excellent and i and i go up there and i ask the dude i'm like are these any good and, and he's like trying to tell me no he's like oh no the mcdonald's he's like oh the mcdonald's one is better i'm like what are you talking about man i'm gonna try these right now because i'm not i'm going to mcdonald's again yeah and while i'm in ireland like how <laughs> like there's a certain extent that you can go to like fast food places that you already have in the u.s where it's like almost embarrassing if you're going there too much yeah like kind of like how i've gotten like fish and chips like four or five times since i've been here you are in ireland though i mean it, it, it's nothing to be ashamed of that's what they do best here i appreciate you saying that yeah yeah it's like saying Is oh i would go to I, I would go to japan but i'd feel embarrassed eating sushi the whole time that's that's what they what? fucking do <laughs> That's actually a pretty, that's a pretty good point. Actually, I shouldn't feel bad about that. Yeah, because it's it's just as good, if not better, than than uh, than what Mass has got going on. I mean, the battered is the battered is good, Ooh. and I'm a big fan of. I also have to say, there's like so many people rolling up to this freaking bar right now. We we showed up here, and there was like five people in this bar, and now there's like a line of people coming in. I'm watching. Well, maybe in right maybe now. they'll do the podcast with you. I don't know. <laughs> It is sidebar, nighttime now. Sidebar. I mean, it's I've, getting dark. Yes. I mean, th this is the sidebar. time when people go into the bars. <laughs> yeah. Sidebar, my recording's at 55 minutes right now. It probably would be reasonable for us to wrap it up as well. All right, let's do it. Um, is, there anything else we, is there anything else we should cover <sighs> that would be good for the, uh, the episode? I don't know. Or anything you want to talk about? Ted, I feel like we should go on a road trip soon, you know? I feel like we should do some traveling. What do you say? I would love to. I would love to. We I had an idea. A... We had an idea about going to Vegas and doing a lot of gambling. Should we do a like Ted and Charlotte's funny trip to Vegas, where we just Something encourage about people putting funny to in gamble? Their name with, yeah, to, to gamble. Like we just go and we just have like a week of chuckle sandwich episodes that are all in different <laughs> casinos. Around. They're all just we're at like a blackjack table or something. It's like welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. We're at the uh, we're at the Bellagio, or and then next day welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. We're at the uh, I don't even know. We're at the what you call it? I'm shrouded in darkness at this point. Yeah, I was gonna say for our Chuckle Sandwich listeners, let us know what sort of trip you want Schlad and I to go on. Some sort of road trip, maybe even I don't know. You may, you might not be game for this, but maybe we should do a road trip. You know, a little UK thing, and we hit. The, oh wow, the pubs that there. sounds miserable. Even if we don't travel anywhere, Ted, I think uh, I think the audience I guess, might I be guess, pining. I guess Vegas is easier. They might just be pining, oh, even oh, if for, it's not Vegas, man. I mean, like, what if... For something in person, yeah. Yeah, something in person where maybe we sit down in person with a, across maybe even from each with other. With guests, perhaps? Get some guests and bang out a bunch of episodes, you know? Like, I feel like yeah, that could be Yeah, maybe cool. we even bring... Maybe we even, like, fly in Tucker, you know, oh, to, like, wow. L.A. And, like... Maybe put them in a little like 
I don't know, like a little, a little shack, a little cage, a little cage, little, like do a little for those of us, for those audio listeners and and video watchers that haven't taken the time to watch the channel. Maybe we, you know what? Let's do a chuckle week. Huh? How yeah, about that? Maybe we do a chuckle week. Maybe we do a chuckle week starting next week. <laughs> okay, yeah, starting next week, uh, we'll be here with chuckle week. All right. Well, <laughs> all right. See you then. Bye.